All right, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got an unboxing today. Uh, this is a package from Traditional Pocket Knives. So let's get into it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Look down there, make sure you are, and um, follow me on Instagram too if you want to. Uh, duties underscore daggers. So this is a. I wasn't really expecting to make this purchase, but I saw on uh, Austin's Instagram, on Traditional Pocket Knives Instagram, um, that he had some factory seconds of, uh, of a knife, and they were cheap because they apparently had some kind of flaw, but he said they were in good shape, or at least they looked like they were in good shape. shape. Um, so I decided to pick one up. Um, it was from a brand that uh, I've been wanting to check out anyways, so I figured it was a good opportunity to uh, go ahead and check them out. So let's get on in here. Rosecraft Blades. Yes, yes, yes. So Rosecraft Blades makes uh, traditional uh, folding knives, you know, traditional style folding knives, and some, you know, modern style folding knives as well. But I've, I've been seeing a few of their traditionals, and uh, they look really nice. So this is a traditional. Um, it is the Lusahatchee Jack. So we'll check it out here in a second, but let's look at the flyers first. We got the bear... We got the Titanium Hedgehog. I still need a Hedgehog. Penguin Plus. Penguin Mini. The Ohio River Jacks. Oh yeah, baby. Look at these guys. I have I have all three of these. Uh, mine are in Titanium. Uh, and then here's the Double. The Double Jacks. With the, the two-bladed ones. So... If you're not familiar with traditional pocket knives, they got a lot of great stuff. Not only traditionals, but they do have a lot of traditionals. And uh, if you want 10% off on an Ohio Ripper Jack, this is one of my most recommended uh, slip joints. I carry one every single day. I love it. I absolutely love it. There's three blade shapes, Warncliffe, Spearpoint, and uh, Sheep's Foot. Um, they're with my discount. I think, well, I don't know how much they are right now. They were on sale for a while. I think with my discount, it's like a little over a hundred bucks, um, like 130, 120, um, full titanium, or you can get these micartas and, uh, M390. So really excellent, stiff pull. Excellent. So anyways, let's check out this, uh, Rosecraft, Rosecraft, uh, blades knife here. All right, cool. Keeping it traditional with the... Wax paper. It's not really wax paper, but... Ooh. Okay. Cool. I thought it was going to be smaller, so that's actually good. I was hoping it would be a little bit larger. This looks pretty nice. Now, I'm curious if I'm going to be able to find the flaw. We'll see. This looks like um, some kind of synthetic bone. Does it doesn't say, does it? No. Um, 35 bucks. I think normally they're ra like right around 50, I believe. Um, let's check out the blade. Okay. Nice little pop to it. Let me, uh, we got some oils here. Wipe this off. And the front door is ringing. I just heard the doorbell. I guess I gotta go check what that is. Hang on a sec. All right, we're back. There was another package from UPS. So let's check this baby out. These are made overseas. As you can see, they put a nice big sticker right there to remind you. Let's see if we can get it off. Come on. There we go. I think this is a pretty pretty good looking pattern. I don't know what this is traditionally called, this pattern. I don't know if it's, I think it might be like a a uh, crap. What is? It? I just had it. I can't remember. Um, like a Barlow kind of thing, maybe. I don't know. I'm just getting into uh, traditionals. I really don't know that much about them yet. Um, but for some reason lately, I've just been really been uh, kind of into these traditional style knives. I've really. I'm, I'm hunting my first uh, GEC purchase. They're really hard to get. I've I've tried on two drops recently. Um, 
and they're literally gone in like 15 seconds or less because I'm, I'm there as, the, as the, the, the timer counts down to zero. I click it as soon as it hits a zero. I do PayPal, which is faster than putting in your card. And still, I, I, I miss out every time. It's crazy. Um, so I will get one of those soon. That's kind of like regarded as, you know, the best slip joint makers. Um, they're, they're all made in the U.S. and high quality stuff. Um, but this is very cool. I, I, I really like this. This kind of feels... Um, Definitely feels uh, better made than like a Rough Rider. Definitely feels uh, more quality. Uh, just the fit and finish feels nicer. You know, the back spring feels uh, pretty nice and flush. I like the pattern on the bone here. It looks really nice. The shield is uh, nicely inlaid in there. Stainless steel bolsters. Um, I like the long, um, the long pull right there. Um, and this is in D2 blade steel. Uh, this is kind of like, uh, would you, I guess you, would, be, would this be called a clip point blade? I don't know. It actually is a pretty low tip. Um, kind of bulges down here, this little kind of bit of belly. I think it looks pretty good. So I can't find any flaws on this. Um, let us closely inspect here. It is a factory second, so there is a flaw somewhere. Hmm. Maybe right there? It's very minor, but there's a little, like, something right there. Possibly. Whatever it is, it's very minor. Um, I think this is going to slice really well. It feels very thin behind the edge. Yep, solid lockup. The walk and talk feels pretty good. Not quite as strong as my Ohio River Jack, um, but these are pretty strong, I think, as far as at least the, the few, you know, relatively few slip joints I've handled, the Ohio River Jack is, is pretty up there. Um, this is just a little bit um, less of a, a pull, but very good still. Really nice pop closed. Nice uh, pronounced half stop. Nice pop to the open position too. So that's very nice. I get a full grip on it. Yeah, this is nice, man. Uh, you know, they Rosecraft Blades, they have this um, sway back sort of design with a big, uh, like, choil, which looks really cool. I think I might pick that up um, at, at some point. Um, yeah, we'll see. This is my first experience with them. Um, but yeah, man, this is cool. I'm liking it. Now, um, we just got another package in the mail, and it happens to be another traditional. So why don't we just go ahead and... Well, should I or should I save it? Um, yeah, let's open it up. Let's open it up. It's another traditional. Uh, like I said, I'm on the hunt for a GEC. Uh, there's a couple of nicer cases, uh, case knives that I have in mind that I'm, I'm looking for uh, specific versions of. Um, but to kind of, to hold me over, um, I ordered, um, I ordered this. Let's, let's look at it. That's what I think it is. Pretty positive. That's nice and slicey. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So it's a case and it's pro at least from what I can gather, um, the most popular case. Let me get out my other case here. I bought this recently. This is the, uh, the medium Stockman, uh, the John Deere uh, version. Um, I bought this because uh, John Deere rem reminds me of my grandpa and um, I wanted a, a case knife in the collection. And uh, this is kind of what, what started me off in this uh, traditionals kick. Um, I don't know, man, there's just something real, real, just, I get a, a kind of a warm, fuzzy, good feeling um, carrying something like this. It just reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of my grandpa and, and um, 
you know, it reminds me of uh, just simpler times, I guess. I don't know. But let's check this out. This is uh, the Sodbuster Jr. Oh, yeah, baby. The Sodbuster Jr. Wow, we are way off center. Look at that. Way off center. That kind of sucks a little bit. Wow, this synthetic material is very, very smooth. Hmm. Man, that's really off center. That sucks. See, with traditionals, um, if it's not centered up, there's really not a whole lot you can do because it's pinned construction. There's no, um, you know, there's no adjusting the pivot or you know doing a centering trick. Unless there is a trick for traditionals, uh, I'm not aware of. Yeah, I'm not super impressed with this right off the bat here. Um, yeah. This back spring is kind of lifted up right there. You can see that. It's almost it's also gapped a little bit. Um, actually, there's there's small gaps all the way around this thing. Yeah, this is not great. I might even return this, to be honest. Um, let's look at the blade. They have a couple versions. This is a, a carbon steel version. Um, you know, I like patina, so I always go carbon. And it feels like a hollow grind on this thing, actually, which is kind of cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's definitely a, a pretty shallow hollow grind. Wow. That's cool, man. Hmm. I'm not sure what I think about this yet. Provided it was centered and these kind of QC issues, fit and finish issues were fixed. Um, you know, typically I, I use knives with a lower tip. Um, but this would be kind of a you know, a backup knife, so that's fine. Um, this material is very, very smooth. It might, well, I don't know. I was going to say too smooth, but you're not really going to be bearing down on this thing, doing really hard work, so it might be fine. It is made in the USA. Let's see right there. Case. Looks like we got brass uh, liners and hardware, or pins, I guess. I wonder what this synthetic material is. It doesn't say. It just says uh, synthetic. I don't know what's in here. I'm going to keep this all together. Um, I'm going to have to ask some of my slip joint buddies and uh, see if... This centering thing is uh, is common for these or uncommon if this one's particularly bad. There's also a nick right there. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is normal or not. This case here, um, the fit and finish seems better. I wasn't super impressed with it. Um, some of the edge bevels are a little wonky. You can see when they get back here, um, the edge bevel kind of dips in a little bit, um, but overall, like like the back springs are nice and pretty. They're not like super duper flush, but there's no gaps. Um, yeah, definitely more put together than this one. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this was pretty cheap though. I think it was like uh, thirty five bucks maybe. Um, the edge feels real toothy. Let's see. Yeah, it just feels really toothy. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can tell the difference probably just hearing it even. Um, this, this cutting, this one's cutting much cleaner opposed to, I don't know if you can tell.
but I can. So, um, yeah, there you go. These are just some kind of lower end um, traditionals. And um, I hope I'm hoping to kind of maybe try a higher end uh, one, like a GEC or a, a nicer case, possibly. I'm still trying to kind of figure out cases deal. Um, I don't know if this kind of fit and finish issues are across the board or if, you know, there's kind of tiers within the case catalog where if you buy a more expensive one, they're kind of put together better or if it's just is how it is. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm, I'm pretty new to this. So if you do know, if you know, uh, let me know in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram or something. Um, I've been talking a lot to uh, Richter Knives, a really nice guy. Um, started watching his channel a little bit more recently. Um, when I started to kind of get more into traditionals, I, uh, I started watching his videos and uh, he's got a really, really nice collection of traditionals. Um, but I'll, I'm going to ask him about this and see what he thinks. Um, also, I watched a really cool video on YouTube today. It was a, it's a very old video. It looks like it was shot like in the early nineties, probably mid nineties. Um, and it was a tour of the case uh, factory, and it was very interesting how they how they do things. Um, I forget where exactly in the U.S. it is, um, but they stamp all these blades out. It's pretty crazy. They just have a big sheet of, you know, whatever it is, 1095, whatever they're using, and they just have a big machine that has this, you know, it have the Sodbuster Junior blade shape, um, you know, a punch with that, and just chunk, chunk, chunk it'll just you know and they advance the sheet and it just punches out a, a bunch of these and then they take it over to another machine and it kind of it punches down and imprints the uh the logo here you can see it's kind of indented around it so it kind of like pushes the the surrounding steel down with the letters it's kind of interesting um i don't think any modern knife makers uh, punch out their blade shapes i don't think um, and then obviously there's a lot of finishing work that goes into it, you know, grinding the bevels and obviously a lot more, but, um, pretty interesting. And then an another really interesting thing was, um, yeah, I'll, I'll link the, I'll link the video down below if you guys want to watch it. Um, but so like on this one, they were, they were making a knife with a bolster and they had brass liners like this knife here. And they started with just a big rectangle of brass, like this. And they attached the bolster onto it. So it was just a rectangle with a bolster on it in the correct spot. And um, then they ground away the brass to meet up with the bolster. Um, kind of just a, a weird way to do it. Like if I was, and I don't know how to make traditionals, obviously, but if I was doing it, I would have cut out the brass first, um, you know, made it left it a little bit large, then put the uh, the bolster on, and then ground them flush with each other. So I don't know. Just, it was just interesting to see how they do things. Um, I'm sure they still do things very similar. I don't know. If, I'm sure they have modern uh, elements that they've brought in over the years. Um, but from what I understand, they're still you know they're still doing things the traditional way, which is cool. So. Anyways, there you go, folks. I know uh, I know there's some people that are really not into slip joints, and uh, sorry, you know, you're just going to have to bear with me. Um, if you don't like the video, that's fine. You don't have to watch it. Um, but uh, I'm kind of getting into slip joints a little bit. Um, I'm not going to stop buying moderns at all. Definitely not. But uh, you might see a slip joint here and, uh, here and there on the channel. So... Thanks, guys. Uh, please like the video before you head out. I'd appreciate it very much. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. All righty. Adios.